entry for Dana's contest. I'll put a link on the site to her channel um, and to the contest video actually. So she wanted something super colourful. Um, all her own stuff is like mega colourful. So um, I decided to go for this flower. This tutorial is going to be like mega mega edited guys because this took me a good while to do. And um, I'll just show you quickly. I drew out a picture um, initially to work from because I knew I wanted it quite um, detailed. So that's what I came up with and then this is how it turned out. So obviously I made a few adjustments and made it a wee bit more colourful. But that's basically it. Um, yeah, I love it but I'm going to take it off straight away again now obviously. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's it. I hope you like it Dana. Everyone watch this, please do enter Dana's contest. It's such a nice idea. Um, you know, nice bright colours. And I chose a flower because Dana is so good at doing flowers on herself and she loves doing flower um, face paints or face art. So um, yeah, that's it. And hope you like it. Okay, so next take um, whatever base you're using, I'm using my white super colour and apply that to your lids and then just for that part in there around the um, around where the petals are, use a smaller brush. And the first one I'm applying is the one from this Beauty UK palette and I'm just kind of pressing that on over the white base. Now I'm just putting Max Chrome Yellow um, on the outer corner of the yellow. I'm just using the super colour again and I'm filling in the white in the, the middle part of the flower. And then for the purple part of the flower I'm using a Make It Forever Flash colour. This one is in purple, it's number uh, 22. So Apply that on the outside. Guys, if you're not um, comfortable using grease paints, you could use aqua colours. Okay, so next use an, um, a small brush. This is a no-name brush. Quite a cheap one in flimsy, but I like it for this just because it's soft and I don't want to kind of move the um, grease paint underneath. So I'm going to get the slightly warmer purple here from my Beauty UK palette and then apply that where I want it, all around the flower. So with the purple on now, I'm just going to place my white next. Um, I just kind of cleaned off that brush and I'm going to use the same one again. And I'm using Max Gesso and pop that over the white. Okay, so next with the small brush again, I'm applying the pink from this palette here, and it's just going to kind of blend the white and the purple together, not too strong. I popped a wee bit of um, yellow there on the in, in the middle part of the flower just to make it a bit more realistic, and now I'm putting some of the makeup for, um, forever number ninety two. Everyone knows who, what that one is. It's that dark um, purple one there. I'm popping that in certain areas just to kind of give it a bit more depth and make it a tiny bit more realistic looking. Now I'm using some of the green um, kind of lime green dazzle dust I have and I'm just putting that on parts of the leaves, the leaves. I'm also applying a <clears throat> tiny bit of um, number 33 Barry M Cosmetics, this gorgeous light kind of pinky purple. 
And this is just so it'll catch the light a tiny bit. And finally guys here's the finished look so um i hope you like it it took me i think just over an hour and a half so obviously it's going to be an extremely edited um tutorial but there you go mm -hmm.